we can't do we can't we we can't do everything for everybody what we want to do with this group with this forum this section what we're talking about today is how do we actually do stuff on media how do we get the message out there how can we communicate between the young and the old what media things can we do but what is the message that we want to get? Yeah, on? you can't. At the I end mean, of the day, know, that's, oh, a, that's kind of like message, a very strategic, big question. I think the message, like, the message, I don't, think we need to get, I don't think we need to get the why right now. At the, the Climate Action Forum is to take climate action. There's people that like Jan and Paul say, listen, we've got to basically get the truth out and instill the fear of God into people. I'm not sure. I disagree uh, with that fundamentally. I, I, me too. I, 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 me too. Purely because I, I think, think people understand the truth anyway, mm -hmm. lots of them, and I exactly. think they're going like that. And I don't exactly. think that we need to make them feel hopeful. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, it's and people then just say, oh, what the fuck? I'll just do whatever I like. Uh, what you need to do is say, what are the things you can actually do to, to change? People have got choices. Let's assume that in five years' time, the world's going to end anyway. You've got the choice to do whatever you can to try – prevents it and like live an amazing life or you've got the choice to say oh let's go tell the world that the world's going to come to an end and like sort of hunker down and do stuff um you've got the choice of how you react to situations and the way we react are different so what the, the why of this is a climate action the why is is that there is an issue and um the why is how do we basically get people to take action in one way or another? That's our why. I think the why is actually very clear. We want people to become what aware. To so, take so, no, that, so what you've that, just said is that's um, the why. we want people to take action. So are we talking about For children? Climate. Are we talking about... Or everyone. Everyone. Well, you, but, everyone. But you also just said if you try and do everything that's for everybody, we won't right. do anything. No, so but it's, a, it's, it's the why. Exactly. So, exactly. So that's our choice. You, the why is climate action. That's the why. We, the climate's an issue and we need to take action. Very, it's very action. extraordinarily why. systemic. That's the what. That's not issue. the why. The what is, once you've got the why, then that's the what. What you've said, Shireen, is what action. That's mm. the what. The why is very simple. The why is that if you don't take action in some way, we are going on a trajectory to three degrees. So could we agree that there's been a lot of action probably since the 60s, people acting? There's been a lot of things done, a lot of things tried, a lot of people put a huge amount of energy when they could have been doing other things to try and help this situation. As soon as it became evident, people have been acting. So the question for me is, what can this, and the reason that I did Greatest Show for Earth, it was just that how can you do something that's going to be so fucking big that actually people can't help but see it and be inspired by it and want to be part of it? Mm. But, you know, there, there was exactly. a huge amount of thinking behind that that very kind of sketchy plan. And and what I ended and up focusing on was um, the, entre you know, the innovator set, because that for me... There's so many innovators who spend all of their lives thinking about becoming an, uh, uh, you know, unicorn, making as much money as possible, exiting as possible. If we could harness that energy and power to do something that's actually going to drive change at scale, that to me feels like a very. But that's my specific thing. You know, I, and I, and I, part I think of that, that's part of that, exactly. And part of that, cats. The third stream of the this climate action forum is to do exactly that, is to actually have an investor forum, like a shark tank thing, where we'll basically take green energy climate type stuff and connect them with high net worth individuals, funds and VCs, and connect money with people who can actually make change. So that's that, the third okay. stream. Right. And, and, and how are you going to inspire people to become green entrepreneurs or social entrepreneurs? Because by, by sharing with them uh, how people have actually created unicorns and have raised bucket loads of money from climate related things but and we're doing that so that's a separate that's a separate discussion and a separate thread of the this climate action forum so the why of the climate action forum i think we've nailed the why of the climate action forum is to actually 
to say that climate is an issue, that's why. And we need to actually, the why is if we are able to get the message out there to people and get people who are, who have got knowledge on what to do to share with that information with people who want to take action, that there's a cool thing to do. And the way, one of the ways to do it is like on Netflix, when we are talking about the media session, we are talking about Netflix, whereby we basically create, if there is an Armageddon type situation, put it in a bestseller on Netflix, where it can be a bestseller and then before and after have these collaboration discussions where people can then uh, use YouTube and, and Twitter and TikTok to discuss the movie. Or so you're talking about a, movie, a documentary. You're talking about it making could be a anything. It could thought-provoking be a, it could documentary. Be, it could be a documentary. It could be a That's movie. That's the thing. It could be a fantasy. That's the thing. You're talking about it like we're just going to do a thing. That isn't that isn't the way media works. You know, no, there's it doesn't. No, I agree. No, <laughs> there's a huge know. amount of <laughs> deep diving and really thinking about what the best way of engaging people, empowering people. Exactly. What is it we're going to do with that media is it's not that's um, what we should be talking second about ad or 10 so 30 second ad I or agree. a movie or a documentary it may not be the right thing to do at all. Mm. It may or not maybe be. do all of it. Yeah, but then for, what are we trying to do? And so, is, Ivan, you're very clear about what the why is. I'm going to go around the table because that's the way I roll and ask everyone okay. else if they're clear about the why for this group. Okay, okay. Michael. Um, <laughs> hmm. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure that I can clarify why in that sort of, you know, in, in, with that level of clarity that Ivan was talking about. And, and that's for two reasons. The first is, is that I do feel that there is a place for a conversation with people outside our normal scope of having those conversations. In this case, you know, a relatively older group, successful people, you know, whatever, right? I, I do feel, and, and my passion in this context has always been trusting the process by, of having a conversation with the younger generation and not telling them what to do, but asking them how can we support them where they, you know, in what they want to do about it because they're the one who are going to have to do it anyway. And, and before having that conversation, I feel it's a little bit risky to kind of say, okay, well, it looks like this, right? I think it will be interesting to do it. Second thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of impact, uh, how many people here saw a movie called 2040? Yep. Right. Yeah. Okay, so Ivan has seen it. So this is a Melbourne actor who, you know, is quite, uh, I don't know enough about the media world in Australia to say that he's very well known, but he's, you know, he's an actor. That's what he's been doing. He, he wrote a movie called Dead Sugar Movie, which created some, some interesting sort of impact. It's about sugar, and he had you know, fairly uh, interesting people engaged in it. For example, Stephen Fry and whatever. So he's got access. Mm -hmm. uh, he's created a movie called 2040 in which he highlights four cases of solutions for climate action that can be done, that will happen by 2040, that are very encouraging. And uh, I've connected with him through a leadership project I'm doing with youth to have a conversations about what he's, he's done in the movie. And from that, I know that he's had for the last year and a half, uh, sorry, more than that, since the movie came out, so probably about two years, a full apparatus with some volunteers and a lot of outreach, people trying to get engagement and actions and people to come together and talk about climate and get, right? And here we are two years later and someone who's fairly well known, fairly well connected, have done more than one movies uh, no, 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 knows what he's done in that domain, and four people out of six didn't even see the movie or heard about it. By way of saying, yeah, but, that but uh, I, hold on, Michael. However, however, you've got you, there's that there's that movie called uh, what's that uh, guy who was that Indian movie Life or what's it called the Indian the guy the young Indian kid that got lost or whatever uh, lion. Li a lion. Everybody saw Lion. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, you know, and everyone saw everyone saw earthquake. Uh, it, it's uh, okay. You know, I, it's I, 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 or whatever. Ivan, Ivan, I suggest that you let me finish because I, I I don't want to take it down. Uh, uh, you know, there, that's a 
that's again that's a conversation that we could have about this but that's not what the point i'm trying to make the point i'm trying to make is that i think it's worthwhile for us to have some consultations with people who work in that space both use both climate to kind of get a little bit wiser about how to get what we're asking ourselves or the way i understand it is how do we get a movement going in this domain and i think and, before doing that the question is michael why why are we why are we actually having this conversation i think that's the question why are we actually talking today about this Ivan, i wonder if we could actually just go around the table and listen to what everybody's mm. got to say is that okay just because i think we've got a very yeah. short yeah. amount of time we're all busy people and we've got an hour together so i i would personally because i'm new to this and i'm not being rude but i want to hear what everybody else thinks as well david well i come to the point which i started from that I think um, that uh, the people in power are not listening and they're trying to evade the real issue. And for me, the why is how to make them listen and how do we move them even three inches or five yards or whatever you want to call it to, to listen to younger people and their worries and why don't they want to have children, et cetera, et cetera. So for me, the point is, is where I started from is we make two groups that are not in contact at all and are living, I think, many of them in two different parallel universe. How do we make them listen to each other? And how do we make the people in power especially listen to the future generation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's my case. <laughs> and Yen, are you new to this as well? And have you got any, are you, have you been coming to these sessions before, Yen? Um, no, so this is, well, I think, I think we're all new to this new conversation. To this, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> So what, what do you think the biggest why is at this moment in time for this group of people? And I'm still where I was, you know, I think it's, it's later than most people realize. Um, you know, I, I, I do think that the truth needs to be out there, not for the sake of paralyzing people or driving them into fear. But I think with, with knowledge comes the ability to act in an informed way. And I think, um, yeah. I think, I think it applies across the board. I, I, I do think getting you know, corporate leaders in the conversation is valuable because corporates are going to drive the change because they'll find a way to commercialize it. I do think political leaders need to be in the conversation as well because this requires stewardship on a massive scale like we've never seen. And many of them will feel ill-equipped to, to, uh, to do what they need to do politically. But David or uh, Michael, your point about two election cycles in the next seven years is, is going to put some courage, I think. I mean, the, the, the truth is this will draw from courage from across the board. So I think I think we need to um, we need to inform and apply pressure to political leaders and to corporate leaders, and I do think there needs to be a mass mass market um, communication stream here as well, because it's people who are going to put pressure on against governments. Yeah, makes absolute sense. Shireen. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm still struggling with a why, but I, I will say what I relate to. And Kay, I loved your story in the beginning about hosting a global conversation. I think there is something pretty powerful about that, you know, real time um, and connected. You know, it doesn't mean to say that one doesn't prepare content beforehand to stimulate, to challenge, you know, to engage. Um, 
but I, I really liked what you were talking about. And, you know, I think that, uh, you know, I also understand what goes into organizing something like that. You know, I also know what kind of budgets you need to organize something like that. So, you know, one what, uh, to make that happen is going to require a sponsor or sponsors of sorts. So, you know, I, I think that anything we tackle here, let's not underestimate what it takes to produce, you know, what it takes to focus, what it takes to produce, and not just to produce, but to give life to, you know, so that it has um, life after what we have done. So uh, what I'm really afraid of <laughs> is the magnitude of what we are trying here. And uh, what it's going to require in order to to produce and and to give life to. So yeah. I haven't answered your question, cats, but um, all I can say is that I really resonated with your introduction and some of the stuff that you've done. And I think that if this if what we do is going to have impact, you know, and then I also think that it's not just content that we create, but also content that we curate because there's a lot out there. So we don't necessarily yeah. have to create everything. We can curate the most powerful stuff to drive and support challenging conversations. And I really also think that, uh, you know, part of the why has got to be um, inspiring us to be brave, inspiring every stakeholder group to be brave, because it's, as Kat says, you know, there's a lot of talking, but we need now, the action needs to be brave, you know, the decisions we make need to be brave, and, and we need to give courage to each other, you know, because we're all going to have to make these brave changes mm -hmm. together. So, so my sense is we can talk a lot about, and there is a lot happening, but we're getting, you know, we're coming to some pivotal moments now where this courage needs to happen quickly. So I'm all for um, these live conversations that are supported, informed by curated content and other content that we produce and maybe a run up to this big conversation and a follow through from this conversation. But I understand that that is massive. You know, that will suck up us full time and more. So we also have to be prepared for what this is going to require of us. And are we, you know, are we ready for that? Are we, are we committed to that? Yeah, this is not, this is not a small thing. I think that's a really good point, well made. Can't, <laughs> you know, can't, we're doing this. Well you, you, can't you we don't actually go into this? Say again. Can't we actually? I said, Katz knows what goes into this. I know what goes into something.